Stranger. He just rode into town. He riding through? No. Nope. He went on into Cantina. Come on, let's go. Get back to the game. This man's a friend of mine. Sam, why don't you tell a man when you come into town? Well, I stopped here to have a drink first. I don't blame you. Shake hands with Bill Longley. The Texan? The Texan. Hello, Sam. Glad to know you. Sam's my deputy. You might as well tell everybody everything's all right. Drink. Yeah. Peppy, set him up a bowl. Let me go. Amigo. What's the matter with this town? They've been looking for the Watson brothers and another dirty gunslinger, Wes Hiller. Watson brothers? I thought they jumped across the border. They did. Long enough to tie up with a dozen or so outlaws, raid border towns and hide out in Mexico. The last place they hid, about 40 miles from here, they left four dead and six wounded. Your town's next. Maybe. Rancher saw Hank Watson and one of his men near here the other day. What are you going to do about it? I'll build a... This is a cow town. There's ranchers, the carols, shopkeepers, honest working men. There's not a gunman in the lot. Somebody better do something. Somebody is. The government already sent a man to Mexico to talk to the Mexican officials. See. My daddy has a gun just like that. He wrote and told me. Well, that's a good thing to have out here in the West, ma'am. You know something else? My daddy's going to show me how to use it. Good. What's your name? Bill Longley. What's yours? Mary Harris. I'm eight years old. This is my mommy. How do you do, Miss Herrick? We've come all the way from Baltimore, and we're going to El Paso to meet my daddy. Little girls have a habit of talking too much. Well, it's a good habit out here, ma'am, especially when neighbors aren't too close together. Yes, that's what my husband wrote. His nearest neighbor is 18 miles away. I haven't seen my daddy for two years. <laughs> Come on, dear, we've got to buy you some Western clothes. Oh, in uh, there, Sheriff? Yes, you'll find everything you need in the general store, Mrs. Herrick. Thank you. Daddy wrote that horse is a real gentle, Mommy. Not all horses, Mary. But this horse loves little girls. Sit on him. It's all right, ma'am. Well, just for a half a minute, if you're sure you don't mind. Pleasure. Perhaps Mr. Longley or his horse doesn't approve of that ribbon, Mary. Well, whether it's horses or it's people or it's back east or out west, it's all the same. A little thoughtfulness, a little kindness will give you a good friend. Now, you better get yourself a pretty little western outfit. So you can surprise your daddy when he sees you. Goodbye. Bye. Well, we should stay around for a few days, Bill. I'd like to, Ben, but I'm doing El Paso tomorrow. Well, when are you going to settle down? Well, if I had a daughter like Mary Herrick. Or if you had a wife like Mary's mother, is that it? <laughs> that Herrick's a lucky man waiting for those two. Yeah.
climbed to the window. Her mother tried to get her back, but they didn't have a chance. We got two of the outlaws. Here. And the outlaw got five of us. Seven. Little girl and her mother. <laughs> last thing we do, we'll get action. You don't get action, Ben. You take action. Let's go. You got a cutoff? A border? Yep. This is as far as we can go. You're not going to let that stop you, Ben. It's the law, Bill. Yeah, I guess you're right. If it's not going to stop me, I don't wear a badge. Well, Bill, looks like you accounted for two of them. Three, Ben. Wes Hiller's body's back in Mexico. Where did you leave Luke? Hank killed him on a trail. Ask him about it. You did a good job, Bill. Maybe so, Ben. In my book, it still doesn't even the score.